look what you got. You know what you got right there? Yeah, York aluminum brake drum. Yeah. I only have one, though. Well, you know what that's good for? Makes a honking banjo. This one? Yeah, people take those because they're, they're not heavy like, uh, you know those, you know those regular brake drums? They weigh about 100 pounds. Yeah, it weighs about 100 pounds. But if you take this, steel. if you take this steel off it and just have the aluminum part, people literally make banjos out of those. Well, here you go. Then. I take it out. Those are hard to find. I had that in the back. I found it in the backyard of the neighbors. Yeah. There was an old Buick back there. Yeah. They dumped it and, yeah. uh, and messed it up. And so I brought that home. It's been used for weights. Yeah. Well, that, use them on the old hot rods too. Absolutely. Those are those are all the rage. This has a uh, steel lining inside that aluminum. Yeah. These are all the rage, though. You know, people look for these things. Get the steel liner up there and all that. Yeah. It might be a bit difficult. Well, if you get this part out, that's going to take some weight off of it. Yeah, I always have people ask me, you ever built a you ever built a banjo out of a brake drum? I say, well, Brad, they're too heavy. He says, well, not if you get aluminum one. I say, well, where are you going to find one of them? You know, they're almost impossible to find. So, ta da! Ta da! Silva had it. Silva had it. So, you sure? You the man. <laughs> well, cool. I think if I if not, maybe you can put it on one side of your roadster, huh? Yeah. Well, you know, that's the other thing is they're all the rage for actually putting on your car. I mean, yeah, because they're so. They're so cool, you know. But I believe if you you could take a grinder and just touch these little knots off, and you'd lose about 40 pounds right there. And if you can get to it from the other side, so you don't damage the aluminum. Kind of hard to get in there, and these yeah. are bigger heads. I'll leave it to you. I don't know if it's possible to get this out of this part out of here or not. It sure would take yeah, a weight I don't off. No, if you use a grinder. Yeah. And maybe grind it one side. Grind it down to a point and then take a chisel and because you wouldn't be able to grind completely down, but you could grind down a certain ways and then take a chisel and work it down. And then I don't know how it's bounded. Yeah. It may just be one of those shrink fit things to fit in there. And then fifty years of cor uh, you know, corrosion. All right. But you're welcome to play with it. I heard a guy that say, everybody's always saying too, make a banjo out of a hubcap. Well, a hubcap is not at all made like a banjo, and, and I've never been able to figure out how to do it. But a guy the other day took, and he he made a round, he, round piece of wood, he set the hubcap in it, and he strung it like a guitar, and he put his bridge on top of the hubcap, so the strings, the guitar neck mounts to the wood, and the strings sit on here, and that thing sounds good. So, I mean, I guess it's doable, it's just that I couldn't figure out how you would do it. All I have is Pinto. Oh, I got hubcaps. Like, I got some cool old, old hubcaps.